A beautiful day. That wind is blowing hard though, and it's kind of cool. The front blew through last night. Uh, Heidi and I out early this morning. Uh, Stephanie's gonna come down. Friday morning, we're gonna try to get that done early. I have to go get Lex this afternoon. G and I. So I asked her to do it early. I'll help, be able to help her hook everything up. But it is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna put a, another shirt on. <laughs> uh, I think she's uh, down at Lester's getting the tractor as we speak. Hey Steph, just now came by and brought me a cup of coffee. <laughs> Had her coffee, says uh, she's gonna go get the tractor. And I, she says something has to be unhooked. So we're gonna go down and see if we can't help her get everything all hooked up, run to the whatever she needs to do. Hey guys, got a little rain last night, but that wind blew all day yesterday. It's blowing this morning, but not like it was yesterday. But it's cooler. We're gonna get that garden plowed in today anyway, hopefully. Oh, 
watch it. Here's what I'm trying to adjust. Okay. Adjust the bars here. Okay. Okay. Uh, we get up there, we're going to sit over about three or four foot to the fence. I'll, I'll show you. Okay. I don't know why you can't plow, hey? Why can't you run a plow? I would say at least I got to watch him crazy coach today. Job. I bet she has fun doing this stuff too. I gotta go put my blue jean jacket on. It's kind of cold out here. That wind blowing. But I got shorts on. It don't matter about the shorts. My legs don't get cold. My back. <laughs> my back gets cold. Stephanie, Stephanie got off color. Oh, it's so dark. I said, yeah, it's very fertile because I feed cows in here during the winter and all that, and I do it every year. And then uh, in the spring, we plow it all under. And, uh, and that fertilizer just makes it more fertile. This is a sand hill up here without that. This is going to be a sandy hill, but, uh, well, we have no idea. Yeah, we are blowing, baby. <laughs> Get behind you. <laughs> anyway, it's very fertile, and, that, and that's the reason it's fertile, because I feed cows in there all winter long, and then plow it under and plant my garden in there. And these two love birds. That's probably their day right there. That's all they're going to do. That's all they're gonna do all day long. Walk along, holding hands, and, and just. Hi, Heidi. I, I'm saying look at them love birds coming. That's all they're gonna do all day to walk along. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we got work to do out here. Is that the disc? Is that the disc? That's called a plow. Oh, oh, oh the disc is back there still. Yeah. Okay. Can I use it today? Yeah, she's gonna be hooking up here a little bit to it. She's gonna disc this. She's gonna go plow her garden. Come back, hook up the disc, and plow her disc it and disc this one. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow then. What are you gonna disc? I'm gonna disc up where the hogs did it over there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it might be the only way you'll ever smooth it out. Alright. Alright guys. Everything is turning so green. The grass is coming out good. Uh today's what? Right about the third. The uh, trees are all greening up. Cows are grazing. They're enjoying the grass. They eat very little hay. When the grass comes on, they eat very little bit of hay. They just don't eat much hay. It's available. There's a roll out for them. But they're just not caring for it. I see Jake sitting that old, that old tree on fire. That thing's going to smolder. For days and days. They may not all burn up. The old heart part of it, the old inner core may not burn up but that easy. They uh some on one side of the fence on the other, but it's open on both ends, so they can go in or out. This weekend and put up my bee trap. Uh, bees are starting to get real active up, up by the house, and I'm sure they are the same way in the woods. We lost a lot of bees, you know, a year or so ago during all that freeze. Wild bees. But uh, I was only able to get one swarm last year. Normally we get two or three swarms a year. Easy. Well, when we set traps out. Yeah, it's getting... Green it up, Patty Ho. Green it up, baby. Green it up. We slipped off without Kippy this morning. 
he gonna be upset. Catches the brunt because it turns back quick and the water comes swift and hits it and just takes it, trees and all. Uh, Jake's going to use the disc to see if the disc got some of those. Those hogs are running. That's the only way you'll ever smooth it back down. Uh, my brother and I built, I mean, I told y'all about hay in a pasture we leased where hogs had been in the cone grub. My Lord, you could not, you could not cut that grass. It's some of the best grass, but you could not get across it on a tractor. You just beat yourself to death. And your, and your equipment. Oh, he said we didn't blow it. We're going to blow my head. Heidi, my head. I almost blow it off my head, Heidi. Ho. Put it down tight. All right, folks. Catch y'all a little bit later. That's the side of the garden. I left the space around both sides and on both ends for me to mow. Uh, and my rows are going to be, I think, about 48 foot long. I think three cow panels is 48 feet. And I'm going to have two, two rows of cucumbers and a row of uh, squash and probably over here a row of uh, okra. And my tomatoes are going to be in those potted plants and my peppers and I'll, I can set them wherever I want to. Maybe down on this end down here. Uh, they're going to be all potty. Yeah, potty. Uh, I'm going to go check on Steph. Well, Steph knows her business, don't she, Hattie? Yeah, she's doing a good job. When she gets through, she's gonna come back and disc it. If she wants to, I'm gonna leave it up to her. Uh, I've got that tiller. Would really smooth it all out better for her if she wants to use it. That's gonna be up to her. If she wants to use it, I'll have to hook it up. And uh, after she discs, she can come down and till. Doing a good job. Yeah, my dad used to garden out here. Uh, I can remember digging potatoes out here. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> uh, the well house wasn't there then. Uh, it was just. Uh, 
in those two trees. There wasn't no sewer systems out here, just just the pasture, and we we would garden. I'll tell you a story about that one day. Uh, well, I'll tell you a little bit there. Now, my dad worked at the refinery, and he could get gasoline, you know, being an employee in bulk, like a 55 gallon drum, and uh, real cheap, and. Uh, he would buy a barrel, and that's what he would use to go back and forth, you know, to work on it. He kept it in that old garage over there at Kim's, that I brought there, on a stand, and it was on, laid on the side, had a, you know, a faucet, or whatever you gonna call it, on there, valve, and you just run it into a, a value out can and pour it in your truck. And, uh, I may have told y'all about our old dog Rex, who was a very, very mean dog, wasn't scared of nothing. Well, somebody parked out here on the road one night. I don't know who they could have been. They evidently knew my dad had gas. They brought a siphon hose. Well, they left the siphon hose laying beside the road. But they had brought a can and went in there and was getting gas in the middle of the night. And we had a garden out here. And you see where they'd walked across, okay? and uh to the garden to the dirt but uh rex caught them in there yeah they left her can <laughs> they, they left part of their britchy legs and they left there they wasn't walking they were running and old rex right on their butt i don't know how much he's meant chewed them up but they come back out across here to the road out there to get away from that dog but Part of their britchy legs are still in there. <laughs> the gas can out here on the road with the siphon hose. <laughs> they never come back. They never come back. Yeah, we have dug potatoes out here. My dad had regular gardens out here. But potatoes for sure. We'd plant several rows of potatoes and plow them up and then to come out along picking them up. Good memories, good memories. I hope she does good out here. Uh, she got about got my little garden disc. It's not that big, and uh, she go down and do hers. We put some of these big old chunks here on the bottom, on the back of the disc, to kind of weight it down. Well, she did her garden the first time, buddy. Put some big old blocks, uh, cut off some of her trees, which is a lot heavier. Than these things are, but uh, we don't have anything besides this to put on here, so got a good job. I'm gonna ask her if she's gonna use that tiller, also. If she does, she can, if she don't, she don't got it. But I think she enjoys doing this stuff, so she may want to try something new. <laughs> All right, she's tilling now, we got the tiller hooked up. We greased it, got it all going for her. I don't think she understood exactly what I was trying to tell her, but that's okay. It'll come out okay. I was saying come down this way because the tiller is offset and it always leaves one tire exposed. But if she go to the far side and come back up the other side, when she goes back down this way, she would cover up that tire track, it, it would be tilled. Going back and forth like this, I'm afraid she's just gonna leave a tire track each time. And it's gonna compact that, where that tire track is. It's okay, it'll all still work out for her. That tire track can be in between her rows easy enough. So we'll see how she does. It's gonna come out good. She's gonna do mine when she gets through here. Uh, her ground, when she gets through this tiller, it'll be ready. It'll be ready. My next project, on my garden is once she gets through tilling, just go out and make my two cucumber rolls, get someone to come help me spread that cloth out and I'll get them planted. And then I'll set up my cow pals. I'll set up my cow pals. So when they do come up, they can just grow right up to cow pals. And then I'll Get the cow panels all up, I'll do the squash and the uh, okra 
lay my cloth down for it. And then I'll start working on my pot plants. They're not ready to be potted yet anyway. They're not quite ready to be potted. No. All right, folks, I'm gonna close this video off and you can see, uh, we got some peppers on this last row here coming up. I don't see one here yet. Or one here, but the other, others are. All the tomatoes have come up and I'm going to rewater. They're still damp enough, but I will rewater these empty cups here today. It'll, it'll flow down and, and go out across. Uh, uh, all my babies are all still jailbirds. <laughs> uh, step nine, she's about to finish her garden and she's going to come up and till mine and then all I have to do then is start planting. Okay. Catch you guys later. Hope y'all enjoy this little video. A little bit of this, a little bit of that.